Megan's new desperate moves revealed. The biggest problem is that she's so stupid. I'm sure most of you have heard the old saying, good comes out of evil. Now a child without any life experience is going to ask why, how? This cannot be rationalized actually when an innocent person's life is taken by somebody evil, an evil murderer, or a mass shooting spree for example. There's no joy involved for anybody in those situations, especially if the horrible murderer is never caught and the poor victim's family never gets to see justice. But still, at the same time, there are some social advantages of this old saying, especially when the evildoer seems to continue to walk free after repeat offenses while being applauded by their little sycophantic team of supporters. Do you remember when people first started sharing their opinions of the duplicitous duo? Well, as it turned out, the British artist uh, Graham Short used to say it pretty clearly. And although the Sugars managed to have him banned from the internet, every single thing that he said has materialized into fact and actually even worse. And the final insult where Meghan and Harry took things way too far and proved how good can come out of evil was essentially a triple-edged sword. The Netflix docuseries, Harry's book, and of course the final nail in their coffin was that fake car chase. A couple of years ago, it wasn't common to see British journalists sharing their true opinions of Meghan and Harry, but now it's considered normal and not that many people even object. I remember feeling disgusted by how those journalists used to go on and on about how wonderful and refreshing it was to have such a modern, humanitarian, and smart royal wife on board to modernize the monarchy. But the queen was in a very difficult position. Meghan was waving that race card at every street corner. Now let's see what the Daily Mail has to say about Meghan Markle at this point. Daily Mail published this carefully referenced article by a royal commentator. Meghan Markle has just come under fire for lacking the ability to generate any original story that does not connect to some semblance of her supposed victimhood. She started the chat off by asking, what royal free content is Meghan going to produce? Her little red lifestyle blog, rom-coms for Netflix? It is wonderful to see that journalists are being a lot bolder, but it's about time, honestly. And there's still a lot that they're trying to stay away from. But see, Megan is a narcissist, one of the worst narcissists probably ever. And they're always going to be architects of their own demise. It's very true that they're incapable of an original idea, and they're always going to copy other people. When is this evil succubus gonna wake up and understand that she is not interesting, she's not talented, she's not approachable, nobody likes her, she's not intelligent, and nobody wants to hear from her or see her or deal with her or watch anything that she believed she had the talent to act in or produce? The only thing Megan has ever been able to accomplish in her whole life, really, has been to sleep her way into a made-for-cable, B-rated TV show on a B-list TV network through her first husband, and then be so awful and abusive to the second husband that she's basically pushed him over the edge. She thinks that she is so remarkable, but she's not. She's a nobody. There is nothing special about her. She's nothing but a trashy, social-climbing gold digger, and she managed to land herself a prince with the IQ of, oh, I don't know, maybe a cockroach. She is a horrible, vindictive, race-baiting professional victim. She's a malignant narcissist and an all-around dreadful person. I would never wish harm upon anybody in this world, including Megan. But still, at the same time, if I woke up tomorrow and came across a headline saying that Megan got run over by the same bus that she loves to throw everybody else under, I wouldn't shed a tear for her, and I would say that is what she deserves. That's just a direct reflection of the degree of loathing that I feel for her, because she is such a nasty piece of work. And now we're hearing all this news that Meghan Markle has been out on the town, minus Harry, of course. Well, I think it's pretty clear what's going on here. She is hoping to weasel her way back onto the casting couch. Well, honey, it's not going to work. But it seems like Meghan is also not the life and soul of any party. I think that she basically crashes any party that she does show up to. And anybody who is anybody is trying to distance themselves from her as quickly as possible. They are blocking her name from their phones. But that's not going to stop her. When did it ever stop her? She is one of those insane people who is just going to bulldoze her way into wherever she wants to be. How dare somebody try to avoid her? She is the Duchess of Sussex after all. 
Performing artists who are talented enough to become Hollywood celebrities also become very smart when it comes to dealing with people like Megan, stalkers, and upstarts who are trying to cling on to them, just hoping for a shortcut to fame. These people know what to look out for, and somebody's always trying to steal their clout, so they have to be very careful. I can see a pretty amusing situation happening at a venue where that gate-crashing Duchess of Duplicity is going to be put in her place. I have a little fantasy. I would just love for Megan to gate-crash the celebrity event and try to pull rank by announcing herself as the Duchess of Sussex, and then for a real celebrity to make her look ridiculous by using some fake title for themselves, like maybe Countess Reese Witherspoon or something like that. I would absolutely love that. Because let's remember, other than professional titles, there are no U.S. peerages. So what's good enough for Megan is also good enough for everybody else at a gathering. All top-class actors who earn public respect through talent and hard work, not just telling a bunch of lies. Another thing is that a very popular A-list DJ said that Megan is texting everybody wanting to hang out and being very aggressive about it, very weird. And she's showing up at movie sets and demanding to see the director and main characters and then asking for roles for herself. How pathetic. There were a few places that refused to see her and they had security walk her out with instructions to never return. Apparently, Megan is just showing up to these places without permission and word is spreading that you gotta watch out for Meghan Markle. It does seem like Megan has a real problem with gate crashing, and then she acts so surprised when she's not welcome. Honey, if they wanted you there, they would have invited you. I am learning some phrases from the Brits, and I think the perfect one to use here is a brass neck. Megan is blacklisted. Even Z-list actors do not want to work with her, and they're letting their agents know, please, to not give their information to her. And then anyone who is unfortunate enough to already have contact with Meghan Markle is blocking her. She's got no shame, and she doesn't seem to understand how bad her reputation is at this point. She does have some pretty thick skin, I've got to admit. Nobody in Britain knew anything about Meghan Markle before she got with Harry. Meghan has no dignity, no class, no manners. She always tried to push in front of Harry all the time. Anyway, it is good that the two of them left the UK. Of course, I'm not happy that they came to America, but whatever. Hollywood is interesting. I do love to see all the glitz and glamour. And I don't think that Meghan and Harry are fitting in very well. The royal family is treated politely and formally, except now Meghan just drags Harry around like he's some type of human invitation card. And then she leaves him on the table while she takes the spotlight. Other than the stage scripted paid many productions, I haven't seen a single example of Megan actually interacting with any Hollywood celebrity. Come to think of it, I haven't even seen her interact with any USA Power personality. All these PR agencies are paid to try and elevate the status of their clients. So in my opinion, in the UK, which is very traditional and more solid, I assume that Hollywood recognizes what it is, mostly a place for stars. Meghan's ticket to fame and fortune was certainly Harry, but it doesn't seem like she ever really recognized that. And now it looks like she's done enough damage to him that she's not going to be able to use that ticket any longer.